Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. In this session, we will learn to create an index. An index contains a list of words and the page numbers on which they appear in the book. It becomes easy for the readers to refer to a particular word. The I make IDX package needs to be included which should then be followed by the make index command. Then we start marking the words to be displayed in the index using the command slash index and the word in the curly brace. The print index command will display the index. Let us have a look at a demo. We already have some text written here. Now let us add the package I make IDX. So we write slash use package I make IDX and we write the make index command. Then we scroll to the end and just before the end document command we write slash print index. This will print the index in the book. Now let us mark some words to be displayed in the index. For example, we will write here slash index and the entry we need is tiger. Let us add one more entry slash index panthera. Well, now let us build and run. Notice that the document has an index with two entries tiger and panthera and the page numbers are also displayed on which they appear. Let us add one more entry of the word tiger in more information section. So, we write slash index tiger. All right, let us build and run. Notice that the page number 3 has also appeared next to the word tiger in the index. Now, let us add some other variations. So, in the habitat section next to this word Indian, we will write slash index habitat exclamation mark India and let us add some more over here as well. So, we will write next to India, we write slash index habitat exclamation mark India. We copy paste this and next to Bangladesh instead of India we write Bangladesh. We keep the habitat here and next to Malaysia we write slash index habitat exclamation mark Malaysia and next to South Korea we come and write slash index habitat exclamation mark South Korea. All right, let us build and run. Observe that there is a word called habitat. Under it, there are words like Bangladesh, India, Malaysia and South Korea having page numbers on which they appear. Sometimes you might want to list the word in the index but rather than displaying the page number, you want the readers to refer to another word in the index itself. This is nothing but cross referencing an entry in the index. Let us add such an entry. So, we just scroll back to habitat and where there is a word central Asia, we write slash index Asia, the pipe operator or the mod operator and we write C in curly braces habitat. Let us build and run. So, there is an entry called Asia, but instead of the number, it tells the reader to see the habitat entry in the index. Let us go back to our slides. Well, we just saw how to include sub entries and cross referencing in index. Once the index starts growing, it is advised to display in two columns or multiple columns. The column arguments in the make index command gives a facility of mentioning the number of columns. The index was displayed having the title index. You might want to change it. The title argument helps us do this. 
the NTOC argument in make index command will display the index title and its page number in the table of contents. Let us add all of these. We just scroll up and over here where we have the make index command, we write columns equal to 1 considering I want it in one column. I write title equal to back index comma and intoc command. Well, let us build and run. So, the entry back index has appeared in the table of contents along with the page number. Let us scroll down. The back index has a title called back index and it is in one column. Let us go back to our slides. So, this is how one can format the index. So, now you would be able to add entries, sub entries and cross referencing in an index, format it into multiple columns etcetera. Thank you, have a nice day.